King County is the local government for areas where there aren't cities, such as rural areas and unincorporated areas like Skyway, Fashion Island, and White Center. King County also provides regional services to almost two million people throughout all of King County. These are services that don't make sense for each city to provide on their own, such as bus service, courts, sewage treatment, and waste disposal. Hi, I'm Dave Uptegrove, chair of the King County Council's Budget and Fiscal Management Committee. This year, the budget will be about $11 billion, yet most of that money is legally restricted to certain purposes. In fact, 83% of all funds received by King County are dedicated or reserved for specific services. For example, bus fares keep the buses on the roads. Your sewer fees go towards wastewater treatment of sewage. And unlike your family budget, the county cannot legally move these funds around to make ends meet. The only flexible portion of the budget is a much smaller pool of money called the general fund. It is just 17% of the overall King County budget. Yet, the general fund pays for critical functions of county government, the sheriff's office, the prosecutors and public defenders, district and superior courts, and the jails. In fact, about three quarters of the general fund is devoted to these public safety and justice functions. So how do we support these functions? Well, counties have only two sources of revenue to pay the bills. Number one, sales taxes. Number two, property taxes. With the sales tax, the county gets just a half a cent of every tax dollar to pay for county services. And you know that big check you write for your property taxes? Well, 54 cents of your property tax dollar actually goes to school districts. 18 cents goes to cities and towns. Eight cents goes to other districts like fire districts. And the ports get two cents. That leaves just 19 cents of every property tax dollar for the county to pay for services. Counties across Washington state face a big challenge called the structural budget gap. Here's how it works. Despite our best efforts to control costs and be efficient, the cost of county government grows with inflation at about 3% per year. However, because of state law, King County's property tax growth is limited to 1%, which limits how much we can collect. So while the services we provide keep getting more expensive, the money we have to pay for them is not matching that growth. Think about your own family budget. If you got a 1% pay increase next year, but the cost of buying groceries and gas and rent went up 3%, you would have to cut services from your budget even though you got a 1% pay increase. That's the structural budget gap. The county currently projects a general fund gap of about $30 million. So we're looking at significant cuts to the general fund to balance the 2017-2018 budget. As you can see, we face some tough choices. That's why we want to hear from you. We need your help to identify your budget priorities.